Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and uh, big U.S. tech stocks. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, November 30th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So we'll start by looking at the uh, U.S. indices and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. So I have changed my complete analysis of the U.S. indices and also of the of the stock market and the reason for that is because i think that the stock market has basically gotten over the the, um, the coronavirus even though death tolls are rising even though that infections are rising and so on it is i can see or we can see very clearly now that the stock market is not reacting to that kind of news even though it is extremely horrible news and so on, it is not reacting to that kind of news. What it is right, reacting to is that we have several, not several, uh, three um, different kinds of vaccine at this moment. And the stock market is calculating that, okay, things are going to become more normal uh, within the few next months. And therefore, a major sell-off, uh, similar to what we have witnessed in the past, is today uh, less likely to occur um, in the coming months. I could be completely wrong, but that is basically what the market is indicating at this point. It is gradually going higher. So we are continuing in this uptrend that we um, we have been witnessing uh, since all the way back to, since um, the end of March. We have been gradually going higher. The last two months have been fairly volatile when we have been trading sideways, but it looks like the market is now ready to start it up its uptrend again. So the targets for the next few months uh, will be uh, 4,000. That is very likely that we'll get to 4,000 within the next few months. That doesn't mean that we are going not going to see any days where the market is going to to a decline by one to two percent that is going to happen but but what i'm saying is it's not a good idea to short this market anymore so the period where we saw this for example these moves of minus nine uh, percent and so on within two two and a half weeks i think that is going to be less likely uh, going forward what we're going to see is moves like this so moves that are around 2% in a trading week, where you have a fallback, pullback towards the 20 exponential or probably the 50 moving average and then go higher. So this is going to be another, uh, the strategy again is going to be uh, pullbacks is basically the buying opportunity um, and selling the indices is going to be much less likely. It is just to be on the safe side is just buy the pullbacks at the 20, 40, 50 exponential. I it's fairly unlikely that we'll ever see that we'll see a pullback towards the 100 exponential, the 100 moving average in the next few months. That's that's how I see the market at this point. So, um, but that being said, I do think that we are going to stay within this uh, area here for um, some time probably have a pullback towards the, the, the 20 exponential around 3,500, 3,550 before we go higher. So we are in the edge of the very highs. I have canceled out these very lows. I don't think we're going to see this in a very, very long time. Probably in the next um, uh, bear market, we are going to see those numbers again. But it is highly unlikely that this market is going to collapse because it just doesn't see where that is going to come from. So if the, if, the, if the virus doesn't have an effect now, then it most likely won't have effect one, two months from now when we basically have a vaccine on the market. So that's just going to be irrelevant for the market as a whole. So what I expect to happen here is probably have a pullback towards the 20 exponential around 3,550, that is the lowest this market most likely will go, and then we'll target from there all the way up towards 
that 4,000 level. So it will be choppy all the way up. But pullbacks are buying opportunities at this stage. And that is going to be my strategy going forward. Technical indicators for, for the S&P 500 are very bullish at this point. Both the MACD, the the or the stochastic, and also the bullish band. We are all in a bullish area. The RSI is getting fairly flat. It's not overbought. It's at 66. So there's a room to the upside. We could see an additional rally to the upside. Um, and the CCI is flat at this point. So we're getting into the in December month. This is basically holiday season where, season where there should be a lot more buying. And I do expect a lot more buying online instead of buying in 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 in, uh, in stores. So most of my trades have gone into to buying um, buying, for example, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, those kind of products that I think consumers are going to buy and therefore prices will uh, of those stocks will go higher. So let's look at the Dow Jones. We can see it's very similar here. A pullback towards the 20 um, exponential around 9,400, something like that. That is probably as low as this market will go at this point. I don't see this market falling similar to this all the way down towards 150 or the 100. The lowest is basically the 50 moving average. And even that is, uh, is stretching it. So pullback towards the 20 uh, exponential is a buying opportunity. And what we're target here is 30,500. Uh, 30, that is the next target for the, for the Dow Jones. Technical indicators for Dow Jones are, are also fairly bullish. The RSI is at the edge of being overbought. So you could see a pullback towards the 20. We have the, uh, the CCI is also getting fairly flat. But the MACD and the stochastic, they are still fairly bullish at this point. But a pullback towards the 20, that's a buying opportunity in order to target 3,500. So let's look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ has been uh, rallying the last uh, three days, trading days, on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I had a little bit of pullback here, and this is also the very highest where you basically expect this to, uh, to have a pullback. So these are the very highs from uh, the beginning of September. We have tested this area several times. This is the fourth time we are you know, trying to test this price level. I think that we are going to break through. We could see a pullback towards the 20 exponential around 11,000 uh, or 12,000, probably 12,000 is as far as we'll go. And if that occurs, then that is definitely a buying opportunity. This is also just going to be pull back towards the 20 exponential or the 40 and then buy it um, to 500 points uh, in basically profit. So technical indicators for the NASDAQ are, see, they are more bullish than they are for the other two indices. So this indice has been lacking the last uh, three, four weeks, uh, while the S&P and the Dow Jones have been rallying significantly. So at this point, if we can manage to get above this, uh, this price level here, then we'll go and target the very highs of 12,439. And if that breaks, then the target technically is all the way up to 13,000. That is our our can almost say medium or long term target is 13,000. And that is not far off. I think we're going to see that within the next two or three months is 13,000. So technically, indicators, they are significantly more bullish than they are for the under indices. And also the RSI is only at 55. So there's a lot of room to the upside in the NASDAQ. And a pullback in the NASDAQ is definitely a buying opportunity. So We'll see what happens on, on Monday, but this is looking really good for the NASDAQ. If we have a pullback, then that's a definitely a buying opportunity. So you look at Netflix, it's the first major tech stock. As you can see, we have rallied significantly. The 150 moving average is significant support. It is not breaking that price level, and that means that it is basically room to the upside. And there's a lot of room to the upside. 
we can rally all the way up to 574, which is basically my target. This is one of the stock I bought into, which I am actually targeting this all the way up towards the 100 and um, the 574, and that is a pro, that's an increase of around 20 percent. That is a is a good trade, and that will it'll probably take a few weeks, probably months, in order to get there. But that is where we are going before we go to the downside again. There's a lot of room to the upside because the RSI is only at 39. Technical indicators are all turning around, crossing the signal line here in the MACD, and also the stochastic and also the CCI. So expect this to go higher. You'll probably run into resistance here around 500. It's also the 50 moving average. So we're definitely buy on Netflix. Same goes for uh, Microsoft. It's also a stock that I bought into on, uh, on Friday session. And the reason for that is because we are above the 50 moving average. We have a lot of room to the upside in our side. We're at 38 and the technical indicators are all turning around. We haven't crossed the signal line yet, but we definitely will um, do that. Target is these um, is first 225 and then you know, 230, 33. I don't see this uh, breaking down, especially not when we're entering you know, the holiday season and the demand for uh, these products will technically increase, not decrease. So I do believe that most of these stocks are going to go fairly higher in December. So let's look at Apple. Apple's also a stock that I bought into at um, in last week when we were basically down here at the, at the 100 moving average. So the 100 moving average is as far as this stock will go. It is not going to break 100 moving average. If there's going to be a complete catastrophe somewhere, then probably yes. But at this point, we can see every time we get close to the 100 moving average, it basically breaks to the upside. So we're targeting these very highs here at 125. We'll find uh, quite a lot of resistance here at 121. And at this point, we'll probably stay here for a while. I don't expect this to happen all of a sudden, but it will gradually go higher towards these very highs. We need the MACD to turn around. We need the stochastic to turn around as well. And the CCI has turned around. It is very uh, bullish at this point. Um, and the, in the bullish demand, we can see that the 20 moving average here is supportive. But this is a stock that will go higher from here. It is possible still to buy it. Even the best entry was here when we started buying it at 112. And to this uh, move up roughly... 11 to 12 percent so let's see uh, amazon this is definitely the stock that is going to increase in value in december due to the fact that people will buy most of their presence online so so alibaba uh, amazon and all these uh, um, online um, companies will basically profit significantly in december due to the Basically, the coronavirus, people not going to the store, and they will pay most of the goods on online. So there is a lot of room to the upside in Amazon. Uh, look at the technical indicators; they're all looking really, um, really uh, bullish at this point. And there's a lot of room to the upside. We're only at 40 at the RSI, so this is definitely a target the stock that I'm going to the target. So we'll have a look at Tesla. So Tesla has been on an absolutely crazy rally in the last few weeks. Uh, we can just cancel out these very lows because I don't think Tesla is going to do those lows anytime soon. Tesla will have a maximum support. The maximum the last will basically go is to down towards the 50 moving average. It's around 436. That is as low as Tesla will go. I don't think it will go lower than the 20 exponential moving average. That is around 400 and um, and 70, 78. Um, another barrier here is the previous highs. So this is probably as far as Tesla will go. This is 503, 500, very similar round number, and usually the market likes round numbers. So that is probably as far as this market will go if it will fall. And I do expect it to fall. Uh, this does not mean that you should go out and basically short Tesla. Um, you should never underestimate this uh, this, uh, this uh, company because people buy this as like crazy. They don't care whether or not it's over 
or bought is overvalued or anything they just buy it uh, all the time and therefore you can see these parabolical moves it has without last two weeks rallied nearly 45 percent in two weeks um talk about crazy but that is crazy so at this point we could see a fall in tesla stocks towards this um, previous highs and that's around 13 or 14 percent that is very likely to happen we can if you look at the technical indicators they are extremely bullish still but the rsi is at 83 and when you look at a stock's uh, rsi at 83 that is just screaming that this is going to have a catastrophic fall and um, on friday's candlestick is also extremely uh, bearish so um a lot of sellers came in here and sold probably because they don't want to hold this over the weekend and uh, this could gap down in the in the in the market when the markets opens on monday so i do believe that it's going to to fall towards 500 and then rallied again even higher higher from there so let's look at facebook facebook also a good stock to buy for december but I was hesitating and basically buying this because you should have bought it down here. So when it was at the 100 moving average, which is significant support for, for Facebook, this is basically where you should have entered the market. It doesn't mean that it is uh, it's not a good stock to buy at this point. Technical indicators, technical indicators for uh, this stock are turning around. Uh, we are also at the, uh, the RSI is also very low. So it is very possible that we are going to test these previous highs again. And that's uh, roughly 8%. Um, it'll probably take some time, but that is most likely where we are heading. If we fall towards the 50 moving average or the 100, that's definitely a buying opportunity because this stock is not going lower than the 100 moving average. So let's look at Google. Google has been probably the most, uh, despite from, from, from Tesla, this has been the most bullish uh, stock in the last month and a half. Um, we have been in this tight range for the last two weeks, two weeks, weeks and a half. And at this point, I think that we are going to rally uh, from here. The RSI is at 57. The other kind of technical indicators are fairly bullish at this point. So I don't, if we fall, we'll fall towards the 20. That's as far as we'll go. That's around 17, 17. And uh, the very highest at the moment are 18, 21. A break above this area here opens the door to, to 1875 and then to 1900 and beyond that. So this is also a stock that is going to rally. It's just not as good as some of the other stocks, for example, Netflix, Microsoft, Apple, uh, Facebook, for example, and also Amazon. So, hope you find the video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button, in order to see our newest video. And if you want to uh, join us over Patreon, the link is down below. You uh, get access to our full technical analysis, our uh, online trading, and also our signal service. So, good luck and thank you very much.